Stay one step ahead with Dubai Eye. Is there any sort of correlative data or surveys perhaps confirming a rise or in happiness or quality of living? Something that would confirm that technology is actually improving our lives. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we can look at how uh, medicine is being delivered and to pr- improve better healthcare results for patients, or we can look about um, citizens' interactions with governments. We can look at how uh, large industrial companies are producing their products. We can look at topics like autonomous driving and ride sharing, some of the impacts that's made on the economy. In general, as we look across all of the industries, we can see that patients, citizens' lives are being improved, and that's really what people are focusing on. You see, some of the things, like the sort of the the, the driving, Mm -hmm. I think the sort of jury's out on actually how many people's lives are going to be improved by that. I think we think it it will be. But the medicines thing, yes, I accept that. But do, do you think that we are all happier bunnies than we were a few years ago? I think, in general, yes. The standard of living is increasing across the board, and we are um, every day finding a, a way to improve different industries and how they deliver services to their customers. A number of um, parts and trends, really, to this report, and there are, a lot of them are really interesting, um, uh, starting with uh, citizens' AI, raising the uh, the AI benefit to business and society. But what, what comes under that heading? Well, we're trying to understand how artificial intelligence can be used to improve people's interactions. One of the first applications is customer care. How can we provide a better um, interaction between an organization and the customer they're trying to serve? So uh, one of the questions that gets raised is how do we train those artificial agents to interact? What data do we use? Is there bias in the models that we're developing? And are we able to use those agents to create a better outcome? For example, we might be using artificial intelligence to look at the um, creditworthiness of somebody who doesn't bank in the traditional banking sector, but wants to have a microloan for a small business. If we can do that efficiently and effectively, we can extend the banking system to people who haven't had access in the past. Stay one step ahead with Dubai Eye.